So what do you think the relationship would be between the UAE's president Mohammed bin Zayed and Islamophobia in Europe? So in this short series, we'll be taking a look at how the United Arab Emirates paid a private investigator to carry out a series of smear campaigns on a handful of Muslims in Europe. According to a recent report by The New Yorker, the Emirates funded a series of smear campaigns, damaging reputations and even destroying legitimate businesses of a few Muslims. But based on what? Well, based on ideological differences and a battle for influence. And Middle East Eye's editor-in-chief David Hurst wrote in his column that a campaign that ran for a decade was launched in response to the Arab Spring, when all Gulf autocrats felt the danger of events in those demonstrations that rocked the Middle East and North Africa. And now a series of hacked files revealed how Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed paid a Swiss private intelligence firm millions of dollars to taint and bring down perceived enemies. Enter Hazem Neda, a young wealthy businessman living in Italy whose father was a member of an important donor to the Muslim Brotherhood. But Hazim had no affiliations to the organization. Hazim Neda founded Lord Energy, a commodities trading company trading oil and raw materials across the Middle East and Europe that was generating an annual revenue of $2 billion when it was brought down. The New Yorker reported that rumors started popping up, alleging ties between Lord Energy and terrorism. And as a result, banks started to walk away from doing business with Lord Energy, telling them that the mere appearance of a terrorism link was too much for them regardless of the truth of the statement. But Hazim had nothing to do with any prescribed terror organization and suspected that a concerted effort of campaigns was being carried out against him and his company. But then a group of hackers in Europe approached him and revealed that a company in Geneva, Alp Services, was behind his defamation. Alp Services was founded by Mario Brero, who marketed himself as a specialist in offensive viral communication campaigns. The New Yorker wrote that the hackers sent Hazem Neda the internal Alp files, directing the operations to write articles, calling him an extremist. And the hackers also revealed that the driving and financing forces behind these campaigns were not competitors in the oil trade, but Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, the ruler of the UAE. The New Yorker writes that the UAE hired Brero for the campaigns as one piece in its long-running feud with its neighbor, Qatar. Qatar and the UAE had differences that fueled hostility between the two that were heightened during the Arab Spring, including Qatar's hosting of notable Muslim Brotherhood figures, and of course, being home to the Al Jazeera network, which amplified the call for democracy across the region. But the UAE financing a smear campaign goes far beyond Hazem Neda and his company. And in part two, we'll discuss the UAE's campaign on other individuals and organizations, including a campaign against the charity Islamic Relief and the widespread impact that this inevitably had.